हेलो एवरी वन टूडे उल डू वन प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ क्लास टुएल्व हुई इज ई एम एफ ऑफ अ ड्राई सेल यूजिंग पोटेंशियोमीटर सो फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट उल चेक व्हाट व्हाट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इज रिक्वायर्ड सो टू डू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट फर्स्ट वील टेक द डी सी पावर सप्लाई हियर वील कीप दिस वोल्टेज एट फोर और फाइव वोल्ट हुई विल बी गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड दिस इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग वेयर विच इज माउंटेड ऑन अ वुडन बोर्ड रेजिस्टेंस बॉक्स एमीटर गैल्वानोमीटर जॉकी की एंड सम वेयर फॉर कनेक्शन सो टू स्टार्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट फर्स्ट वील चेक द सर्किट डायग्राम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द सर्किट फर्स्ट आई विल टेक वन वेयर which i will connect from positive of the battery to a a and b it is written on a 100 cm wire next one more wire which i will connect from negative of the dc power supply to any one terminal of the resistance box just see how i am connecting okay this is done next another terminal is left so i will take one more wire one terminal i will connect to resistance box and another terminal to any one terminal of the key Close the key later. Next, another terminal of the key. Two, the negative of ammeter. Negative of ammeter means black. This terminal means positive of the ammeter to B. So that's why you have to take one long wire for this, by which you can connect this to B. So I am connecting it to B. Now see. It has already connected. This terminal is B, okay, and this is ammeter. One terminal from positive to another terminal to B. Next, I will take one more wire, which I will connect to positive of the ammeter to B. B is written on the hundred centimeter wire. I am showing it. Here it is there. This is B. So here I will connect. That's why you will take a long wire for this. By which you can connect to the terminal, which is B. Now this term, this connection is done. Now again, next terminal is take one more wire. Again from A, A means this one. So from A to the dry cell. this is dry cell and this is the dry cell case in case of dry cell this terminal is positive and this one is negative you can see from the battery the plus and minus sign is written over here okay now i am keeping it inside the dry cell case now i will connect it see one hour where i will take from a and another to positive of the dry cell positive means this terminal is positive because positive terminal i kept over here this connection done now one terminal is left so one more wire i will take 
which I will connect from this negative of the battery negative of the battery to positive of the galvanometer now I am taking the galvanometer this one positive of the galvanometer means the red color Remember this, always you will connect the jockey to the negative of the galvanometer. Okay. So first I am connecting jockey. Then the another terminal is to negative of the galvanometer. So I hope this connection is finished. You have understood it. Now let's check how the circuit works. The working of the circuit. Before starting, you will check all the connections are tight or not. Mainly, the keys of the resistance box should be tight. And first, you will keep this uh, voltage at 5 volt. Then close the key. And one thing, please remember this. The keys of the resistance box should be tight. Otherwise, you will face problem. Okay. So, to start this experiment, first, your connection is okay or not. How to check? First, you take the jockey. Touch at the left side. The galvanometer is showing left reflection and when you will touch at the right side then if it shows the left, uh, right reflection then your connection is okay and it is showing the right reflection then that means uh, your connection is okay. Now how to start? So before that you check the ammeter is not now showing the reading because you have not taken any resistance. So don't worry about it because when you will take out the resistance from this resistance box then automatically this ammeter reading will come within the range. Okay, so first I will take out the 1 ohm resistance from the resistance box. Then we will check the null point means where the galvanometer shows no deflection. Okay, and see the automatically this ammeter pointer already it is showing the reading and this least count of the ammeter is 0 0.02 ampere and voltmeter you, uh, you remember that is 0 0.05 volt okay so for ammeter it is 0 0.02 ampere how because 10 division is there 0 0.2 so 1 division is 0 0.02 now I will find out the uh, null point over here so it is showing left and right that means in between them there will be one null point is showing the null point okay this reading you take and it is coming 46.5 so at last I will show all the readings now I am telling the procedure what you will do first you will take out 1 ohm then 2 ohm then 3 ohm and you have to find out the null point so if you are in your question it is given 1 2 3 then you will take out 1 2 3 if it is given 2 4 6 then you will take out 2 4 6 so first reading for 1 ohm, the reading is coming 44.6. Now, when the resistance is 2, then the null point is coming at this one. It is 56.5. Now, when this resistance I took 3 ohm, then it is coming. So this is how you have to take the readings. Now I am showing the reading. Now remember this, each and every time you have to take the ammeter reading also. So when the resistance was 1, that time the reading of ammeter is, just see how to take the uh, ammeter reading. The pointer is touching after point 8, after point 8 means point 8 plus. At what divisions? You will, you will take small and large division also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At 6, it is touching. So, how you will take? 0 0.8 plus 6 into 0 0.02. So, that I am writing in the table. 0 0.8 plus 6 into 0 0.02. So, this is how you have to take all the ammeter reading. So, when you will take out 2, that time also you have to take ammeter reading. So, all the readings in a table I am showing. For 1, 3, 5 I will show. 
and for 2, 4, 6 I will show. Okay. So when the resistance was 1 ohm then the null point came at 43.2 and the ammeter reading was after 0 0.8, 8 division was there. That's why 0 0.8 plus 8 into 0 0.02 which is 0 0.96 and capital R equals to X into small r which is 1.73 and epsilon equals to I into capital R which is 1.66. So this is how you will take out 3 ohm and 5 ohm resistance and you will find out the null point and for each experiment you will take the current. So, so after this you will take the average which is coming 1.6. Thank you.